welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little tutorial featuring this very green eyeshadow look. I actually dipped it into a few different palettes of mine, but what really inspired this whole situation is the Just My Luck palette that ColourPop just launched. So I thought it would be fun to incorporate this palette and a few other of my favorite green palettes to create this look because we are going to a St. Patrick's Day party today. So yeah, excited for that. If you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. And I just got my ColourPop Just My Luck palette and that's kind of the one I want to use for this look anyway because it's all these like beautiful greens and I kind of want to have green eyeshadow. And then I decided I'll also grab some of my other green palettes. So I got the little Huda palette here. I want to do a video with this, but I also have my Colored Rain, which is new. I got the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. There's some beautiful greens in here. And I can't forget my Tribe palette from Juvia's Place. And of course, my Smoke Session palette from Melt. So I have so many options, you guys. It's so funny because I was thinking of a video that Spooky Lips and Fat Hips did. She did a video called Eyeshadow Palettes with Pops of Blue. And I'm realizing that my palette collection with greens, not even just pops of greens, but just like straight up green shadows is like double tripling. I actually did a collection video, I think, with just my green palettes when I got the Mel Melt Smoke Sessions palette. And I feel like it's already like multiplied significantly since I filmed that video. And I really want to do a palette collection video. And I keep telling myself I'm going to do it when I stop for a bit to buying palettes. But it's like I'm already like eyeing the Jeffree Star palette, the new Blue Blood palette. So I don't know if I should just wait. But gosh, it's just like never ending. So um, the greens in this palette for crease shades... Not as vibrant. I was really hoping there was going to be like a matte green like Mary Jane, but there isn't. There's more like muted greens for the mattes. So I might go into the Paulina palette actually had some beautiful greens and like I want like a true green. So I think I'm going to grab Humble from Paulina and work that into my crease. This is a Wayne Goss um, number 16 brush. And I got this from his eye. It's like a brush kit, an eye brush set or whatever that you can get on Beautylish. Oh my goodness. That color is beautiful. I haven't used this palette since I filmed a look with it. I'm sorry, Paulina. I love your palette. It's beautiful. I actually really want to buy the Blush Tribe Neon palette that they just like pre-launched or is available for pre-order or something but I have so many blush tri palettes that I haven't even used yet that I'm like do I really need to do that <laughs> like probably not <laughs> but I can't help it because it's beautiful so put a bunch of that green in there and then I think I want to use the lighter green too this is friends just to kind of not diffuse it but just to I don't know make it more fun. <laughs> this is literally what I do when I do eyeshadow. It's just like blend a couple of shades into the crease and then find like a bang lid color. So what shade do I want to use? Is there a good... Ooh, I kind of want to put some of this green in there too. This is uh, Tootsie from Juvia's. This freaking palette. Oh god, I want to use it more. I'm gonna have to do some cleanup. Oh wow. I wonder if I should almost just like... I have a Suva Hydra liner I really want to try in the green shade. Maybe I should just do like a wing with the Hydra liner. There is a part in my eyes that my shadow is not sticking to. Okay, I really want to try some of the shimmers in the, actually just this one Mary Jane shade in here. So maybe I'll go in with my finger and just tap that on. 
Ooh, that's pretty. have to do some cleanup on aisle 10 right here. So I did grab my Pat McGrath palette really quick because I was thinking of this chartreuse color. But I kind of wanted to pop on there as well. Just to kind of mix it up. I love a good sparkle, you guys. Can't say no. <laughs> Oh boy, it's getting everywhere. I want to use the Suva liquid or hydro liner in fanny pack. It's like a bright green shade. So I need to go get a wet brush. So I will be right back. Okay guys, things are about to get real weird on my channel. This is where I end up like either making something like amazing happen or it's like that time I collabed with uh, Nadia and I'm like oh god this turned out terrible so I have had these Suva Hydra liners forever and I never use them so it seems like a good time these are water activated and I bought these brushes even from Sephora to use them with and uh, never did so you know what they say, there's no time like the present. <laughs> well, this is the shade Fanny Pack. And um, these are UV, I believe. So, sorry, I'm not showing you guys what I'm doing. And I bought these Sephora brushes, they were on sale uh, one time for one of the weekly wows. And uh, I thought they might be perfect for doing some detail work. And I want to create a wing. Ah, that works. The thing is, I have no idea what I'm doing, so... <laughs> Boom. This is like hella extra. Okay, we're gonna stop here before it gets really weird. <laughs> and just leave it like this. And then I think once I do the rest of my face and this like dries down, I think it'll be okay. So pray for me and I will be right back once I get ready. Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I was hoping to use more shades from this palette, but honestly I was looking for more bright green. So I'm kind of happy that I was able to dip back into some other palettes that I haven't used in a while. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your favorite green shadow down in the comments. You guys know I love talking to you down there. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye.